Okay, boys and girls, we're back again for more Tesla surprises. Um, some of the stuff is going to be interesting, and I'm going to know exactly what to say. And at the end, we're going to have a little surprise. So let's start off here with, um, with the uh, bumper bean the, with the trailer package. That's now available. You can buy that when you're buying your Model, uh, Model Y. And, uh, but what we were really happy about was we found the connection the connection up here, which is for your trailer package. So it's already on there. It's gonna make it much easier to get the retrofit. All you'd have to do is, um, or maybe you get your mechanic to do it, they'll take off uh, the bolts that hold the bumper beam in place, remove that, put the other one on with the hitch package, and then they'll take and snap your, uh, your connector into the uh, existing uh, wires and whatnot that you'll need for backup and things like that and braking. So this is good news, I think, for, uh, for anyone buying a Y that doesn't have the trailer package now. I'm pretty sure you can get it uh, in the future. I think it costs $1,000. So let's move over here and talk a little bit about uh, the mega casting and the extrusions and the other things that we found in here that we kind of like. Let's start off over here. If we look inside the, this little uh, drain hole, you're going to be able to see the aluminum extrusions. And these are exactly the same as what we saw in the Model 3. They may even be the same part number. We won't know that until I start drilling out some of the, uh, some of the holes here, uh, sorry, some of the spot welds so that we can uh, separate the, uh, uh, the different weldments. The thing that's nice about this mega casting is these nice recesses and everything that you would like to have if you're, uh, if you're putting in things like, uh, like these, these brake lines. So one thing that we found that I thought was kind of cool was uh, this little um, connector right here, which if I had fingernails would work better. But anyway, this is, uh, this is a cool deal. You can put this in place and hold it there with this, uh, with this little U-clip. If I can get it in like that and uh, that's a that's a kind of a good little aid for the guys that are uh, for the guys that are, are trying to put this uh, brake line into the car during the assembly process so we've got this good little idea here the aluminum extrusions and then we've seen these recesses being utilized fully let's go under here and start talking a little bit more about the castings so you're going to see little bumps or little depressions some of them look like this. These are ejector pin uh, locations, okay? So when this thing is cast, you gotta get it out. And uh, these things right here are pins that will push the casting out of the, uh, out of the mold. So these are good, but then you also see these other spots. And they, have, they look like little depressions. Well, those are welding, those are weld spots. So what they're doing is they're welding the, the mega casting to this uh, stamp pan. This is, a, this is a, an aluminum stamp pan. So the mega casting kind of is the supporting characteristic for all of these different features and functions. One of them that we found was the uh, spring. And uh, let's, have a look, uh, let's have a look at how that goes, right? So we're looking here, whoops. We're looking here and this would fit in right like that. So this isn't the only car company in the world that's doing this kind of thing. But um, they're the first one to have a casting the size that we've, we're looking at here. By the way, while we're talking about uh, castings, Elon said he's going to make these two castings into one casting. That's, uh, he said that, the, uh, he said that the, uh, the molding operation is going to be about the size of a house, and I'm guessing that's no, uh, that's no exaggeration. Let's look over here, and you can see that there's something here that looks like uh, it's rough. That's where, the, um, that's where the molten material kind of like goes in between different blocks. So this, this product is not made in one gigantic piece. It's made out of different tooling blocks. And then these tooling blocks, that's where that separation is. That's where you get flash or, or blow by, or there's a lot of different terms for it. But in essence, the molten material is squirting between the two main blocks here. Now you'll also notice that there's a gap here. If that gap was closer together, you could, uh, you could go to, um, 
to uh, semi-solid uh, welding, uh, semi-solid forming welding. So uh, this, kind of, this kind of an operation um, uses a high-speed spindle and uh, it moves really quickly and it would seal that up. Um, but there's too much of a gap for right now. So my guess is that's why they, they, didn't, uh, they didn't go with friction stir welding. So this, friction stir, this could have been friction stir welding, but it's not. This is held in with those brackets that I showed you before. And the, uh, the brackets have an adhesive and, uh, and some pretty big, uh, big fasteners. So now we've looked at uh, some of the stuff that's in here. The, uh, the uh, utilization of the casting for, uh, for these bosses, that which, which are for the bolts that are holding in the, uh, uh, sorry, the pan for the, for the battery. We've got all kinds of stuff going on here where little, little casting parts don't cost you much money, but makes it so much simpler to put in snap fits for the brake lines and other wiring that's being done uh, on the other side of the casting. Now, we, we found a little bit of a, an anomaly here. We were looking at the, uh, these castings and they don't have anything. There's no tapped hole, there's no nothing. Tesla may be thinking about going to a um, air suspension system instead of springs and stuff. Well, for that you need to have what we would call a scuba tank or a tank that's gonna at least hold, uh, hold air. This is, uh, this is kind of like what we think could happen. These, these locations right here might be the locations for uh, a bottle. So let's, uh, let's go over here and uh, let's talk about something I'm surprised at. Um, these uh, little things that I saw marked out on both sides, they're flash. And um, flash comes as a result of uh, of uh, two pieces of material coming together with the welding tips not quite where they should be. And uh, so you're actually using the welding tips then to, uh, to act as a clamp and you get, you get these splashes, impedance splashes. So these things right here are, uh, are something that somebody should be looking at. You can also get that from really dirty tips, but you can see it's on this side and it's on this side. And this side, it's, they're really big and uh, they, you don't like whiskers. They, they're, not, they're not your friend. So anyway, let's have, a look at, uh, let's have a look at what else is going on here. We're gonna have a little, um, a little fun here. I'm gonna lower, the, um, gonna lower the car and we're gonna have a look at um, where the woofer is, the subwoofer is, and, um, and we're gonna try and figure out what's going on with that. So, Okay, so uh, we've got the little connection out. I don't see... Uh, See anything else going on here? Let me see what's. Oh, I see. Okay. Ha! There we go, boys and girls. Okay. So anyway, this is my first time seeing it. Look at how they they blocked it in there. So they've got tinning. They got drumming, I should say, over there on this uh, on this fender quarter panel. Sorry. And, ta-da, we have two blocks. One, two. Have a look at that. Let me have a look at this. And we can see that they've got uh, more than their fair share of, uh, of sound deadening materials here inside the, uh, in, back of the in back of the woofer. This controller or whatever, these, these things are all... Uh, This is kind of like really held in here. So anyway, so this is our little surprise for the day. We wanted to know whether or not they, uh, they used a foam block and, and they did. 
So uh, stay tuned. We'll, uh, we'll show you a little bit more as soon as we possibly can. Now that we have two of them, uh, uh, some of you have asked whether or not you can get a hold of the, these uh, blocks. So uh, one of them is going to go up for sale. So if you're interested, uh, you can get, uh, get uh, the information online. And we'll see you. We'll see you next time. Anyway, have a great day. Bye.